Okay, I bought a car today. I didn't do any filming because it was early this morning when it got delivered and uh, it's been raining all day so I really haven't done anything so here it is it's a 56 Ford country sedan it's not too bad it needs some work but Needs a motor. Doesn't have one. The interior's pretty sad shape up here. Door panels are here. It is missing the armrests for the front doors anyway. Um, you can kind of see a hole in the floor over there. So it's going to need some work to the floors. That's where the gas pedal goes, so... But uh, it was a factory V8 automatic with power steering. So it's uh, the doors latch good, they line up. It's, the trim seems to be pretty much all here except for the headlight rings. It's got good gutters, I don't see it rusted through anywhere. The back seat is like perfect. And uh, this door panel's pretty much perfect. So. It's got sliding back windows. This is going to be the biggest challenge to get this thing unstuck. Looks like I can just lift up the floor down there and pull the hinges out. This back glass is all here. It raises up. The back seat folds down. So you have a nice cargo area. Missing the tail lights. This side just got dirty, so it's not rust. It's just dirt from when it went up our gravel road. This door handle got broken somehow. But this door panel's falling apart, but it's still pretty, actually, pretty decent. The back of the seat's pretty decent, too. Pretty straight body, it's got a few dents. A couple up there in the fender and one on the other side in the other fender, but it's pretty straight, actually. Radio's there, all the gauges are there. It's missing the ignition switch. It's missing the front bumper and uh, hood ornaments and the hood latch so the hood is kind of a it's got really strong springs so it is missing the motor but you can see it has power steering and dual exhaust it has the automatic transmission, so it does have uh, independent front suspension, but this front cross member has some thin spots in it, so I'm going to try and find one. If I can't find one, I'm going to at least try and make one. Um, it's a pretty straight car, you know, it does have, this is probably the worst dent on it. Um, it 
seems to be pretty much complete other than the taillights and the some other front end stuff. But uh that's why the hood seems a little bit weak. It's cracked there. It's not on this side, so and so I gotta fix that and reinforce the hood a little bit. It is missing, it looks like the windshield wiper motor maybe. I'll have to mess around with that. I'll have to get a new windshield for it. But for right now, I'm wanting to pressure wash all the moss off of it and uh, get some aired up tires on it if I can find enough. And uh, probably get the back end to close. It's missing the latch mechanism. I think it's missing the handle I guess so if I can get this to close and clean out the interior and clean it up a little bit it does have a dent right down here but otherwise it's pretty straight I just really like the dash except for the padded part of it I mean, that's a good looking dash. So, yeah, I got some work to do, but should be a pretty good looking car when I get done with it. But I'm going to try and get the 51 Ford sedan up and going first. And then I'll worry about this car. But, uh,. Yeah, I'll uh, get to work on it here, I don't know when, probably pressure wash it, maybe today, it's raining, so I don't know, it might be too wet, but at least want to clean it up some before I figure out where to park it at, so... Yeah, it's not too bad of a car. It's better than some other cars I've had in the past. And it's a Ford, so that is a big plus.